Okay, this is Mika Star here, your love healer, here to bring you back to the path of enlightenment, love, and light. I have another pick a card reading, and this pick a card reading is specifically to bring you back to your life purpose. Okay, so we have five, so this is one, two, three, four, and five. All right, with the life purpose cards, of course, that's your life purpose, your soul purpose, what you're contracted for this life whenever you tune into this video. Um, this is what you're destined to do, your true heart's desire. And then with the other cards, the angel tarot, these, these cards right here, that is specifically going to guide you for whichever number you pick, one through five, or if you pick more, um, Maybe you have more than one soul purpose in this life, which is very exciting for some of you. Those cards are specifically going to tell you how to get aligned with that soul purpose. What you are need to continue doing or need to start doing or have not been committed to doing thus far. Okay, so let's get into this. For those that pick number one. You have environmentalist and ace of air. So I feel like there's a new perspective that needs your attention at this time. Maybe when you're out in nature, you feel so comfortable and so safe and so vulnerable, but you only see that it is just a vacation or just a time away from people. But in reality, this is your true calling. It's to be an environmentalist or maybe to be with wildlife or maybe this can also be a place for you to meditate and remember who you truly are and what your sole purpose is in this life. So please reconnect with nature, walk, have a walk in a park or sit in a bench where there's a tree or have a picnic. You have to reacquaint yourself with nature, even if it's you buying a cheap uh, little plant or have some seeds from the Dollar Tree and plant some seeds and have a rose garden, right? It's all about putting initiative, thinking differently about nature and what you can actually gain from it as your sole purpose, okay? Please let me know if this resonates with you for those who picked one. Comment below. For those who pick two, wow, you have the awakening card, the ten of water, and study. So I feel like you need to wake up when it comes to what you're studying. Is it making you happy? Are you researching and looking at things that make you feel like you're special in some kind of way? If Is it leading you to different fields of careers or letting you uh, meet other people? Is this knowledge, right, with this owl, is this knowledge that you are getting? Is this knowledge very... Uh, valuable to you right is it fulfilling you emotionally is it helping you heal from past uh emotions right is it giving you a new perspective about life this is the kind of thing that you have to be doing for your soul purpose so maybe you are someone that loves to be studying constantly all the time learning different things different countries different places uh, maybe you're an archaeologist and maybe learning about uh, different animals right so this is your sole purpose is to study is to learn and, and get wisdom maybe to even share it out with others so others can also see and have this change of perspective this awakening about the world 
Okay, this is for number two, for those who pick number two. Please let me know if this resonates with you in the comments below. For number three, those who pick number three, wow, you have author and you have five of air. So maybe you have been doubting yourself and how good your writing is. Maybe you have been listening to those naysayers instead of doing what you truly love, writing just for the thrill of it. Maybe you're a nonfiction writer, maybe you're a, a fiction writer, or maybe you're a poet, right? Maybe whatever story is within you, you have to let it out, right? Your guardians and your angels are supporting you at this time. Be very free with what you write because it is not only going to help you heal, it is going to erase all those people that have been saying all these hurtful things to you, right? Maybe these people that are around that you talk to about your writing are not the people for you to be talking to. I feel like what you need to do is write silently alone. And then when you are ready to release it to the world, just do it. Do not look for guidance for those people that have obviously not been showing you that you can grow, that you can flourish in this. And it's stopping you from writing and from, from telling your story. Okay? This is for those who pick number three. Please let me know how this resonates with you. If you're writers, if you're poets. Okay? For those who picked number four. Wow. Music. So some of you are musicians. Some of you like to write uh, lyrics or play instruments. And it looks like you need to take action. It looks like sometimes you underestimate yourself. You second guess yourself. Or maybe you're a perfectionist. And... You may be confident, but you feel like your creativity can be grander, be more perfect. Well, maybe you should try just releasing whatever you have because we all grow. We all evolve. And with music, music is a beautiful thing. You can start off and you can see your evolution as you go, as you create more songs as you orchestrate more music right and maybe music itself maybe you aren't someone that likes to play uh an instrument or likes to sing but maybe you're a music connoisseur and you can be one of those uh managers and those people that help the people that do this for a living right Maybe you're that advocate, that mouthpiece for that person in order for them to uh, reach their highest peak. This is amazing. All right, let me know if this resonates with you. For those people that pick number four, comment below, please. Thank you. For number five, for those who pick number five, wow, speaker. And then you have queen of water. That is amazing. With Queen of Water, I see that you are probably a mediator. You are probably a therapist or a counselor or, or a, what's the word I'm looking for? A marriage counselor, right? A person that brings back people together and helps them with their relationships. Or maybe you're very tenderhearted and whatever you have to say to the world is going to unite people, is going to change their, their perspectives. And instead of them thinking just with their head, you're going to allow them to think with their hearts, right? You are very skilled and everything that you say is very strong, strongly heartfelt, right? You may be able to feel things. Uh, with your emotions so you may even be uh, an empath I'm so excited to tell you that this card is really telling you to to go out there and say what you need to say even if you're very skeptical about what you're saying this is telling me that you have a lot of wise words to share with the world with your own experiences and 
with your experiences you're taking care of other people you're letting them know that no they're not alone or maybe you have a similar story or maybe you can change people's minds and perspectives uh, to cross them over to assist other people right you may be an ally of some sort to some community this is amazing please let me know if this resonates with you for those who pick number five okay so this is your pick a card reading for your life purpose i hope that you enjoyed please click on the subscription button over here and right over here there's going to be a link to my next video so until next time please subscribe see you later